Hey guys, Tyler here. Welcome back to Peggle and the Peggle Roguelike. Returning to Crucible on the level 5, which is a significant step up in difficulty from the previous Crucibles. It's probably the most significant Crucible increase of difficulty that there is, because this is the level where there's one fewer refresh and one fewer crit, which is beyond brutal. But honestly, I got a pretty good starting relic. It starts with three extra bombs. It's going to help carry me through the early game, at least I would imagine. So, I mean, as long as I just kind of clear a path of some bombs with some shots and then start hacking away at these bombs this floor should not be so bad but this is going to be a significant extra challenge i mean i i'm not going to be critting much at all look, look where this crit is i mean it's out of the way and i don't really care whether or not i crit because all it matters to me is that i hit bombs like there is no such thing as a bad shot as long as i connect with the bomb that that's fine by me but other games you know it might matter that whether or not i'm getting crits and then sometimes a refresh might just piss off to an unknown corner of the map and be in a place that just does not get funneled to and it might be extremely difficult so i'm excited to see how this goes definitely taking a matryorbshka unless if i want to double down on bombs no i'll take matryorbshka because this is one of the few uh, orbs that can actually stand a chance to hit a bomb or hit a crit and refresh uh, there's an area with a ton of chests and an elite find the left side so <gasps> Let's take it. Of course, my prospects were going left stink, but it should be fine. Nice. So it's almost like I don't want to hit the bombs, though, until more stuff shows up on the screen. So I think I'm just going to take a few dud shots. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oops. You know what? This is the one time I appreciate the bags disappearing very quickly. I, I don't want to hit the bomb. And I hate the junk by Matryorbshka, too. I'm literally trying to just send this down the drain. Like, for the record, this is by design. The fact that I killed this was a fun little thing, but I'm really just trying to stall before these blue dudes show up. And I say dudes plural, because I only have one right now. I would like both. I mean, I guess I could soften up a bomb if I wish. And I did. So, I mean, that's fine and all. But only now can I actually st start trying to hit things. <laughs> it feels weird having to play this game a little differently. But yeah, I'm in full bomb mode. Of course, just, yeah, start it off like this. Something simple. Oh, wait. You didn't show up right away. Um, it, thankfully, it won't matter. I, I'll kill the sec next guy with two bombs. But for some reason, I kind of thought he was on the screen already. How odd. Yeah, there's a little gap there. There was one. That's kind of funny. And there we go. Honestly, pretty good early game relic. What? Wait, what? Was there an update that I missed? I have never seen this before. They must have stealth updated the game because extra ordinary. First off, great name. And honestly, pretty good when there's only one crit on a board. Well, I have to try this. Sounds really good right now. It has more damage with regular than crit and the crit damage cannot be modified. That's really cool. I'll take this one to the left. Of course, it's going to be awfully painful when it racks up a huge number, then still manages to hit a crit just at the end. I'm sure that's going to happen. But let's upgrade. What do you do, upgraded? Seven without the crit. Let's be honest, though, this is a more impactful upgrade. It dam doubles the damage output. We know this is better. I'll, I'll get the other one eventually, too. But all in due time. Uh-oh. The... I mean, it doesn't matter. All roads will hopefully lead to that elite fight, but now I have a little bit less freedom. Duplicate an orb. Oh, that one's tough now. Okay, if I happened to choose to upgrade the extra ordinary, I would have chose it, but I think I got to take the one that's level two. More level twos are nice. All right, don't screw me here. Embrace the lightning or sprint and dodge. I will embrace the lightning. Ball lightning level two. This is pretty sick. I'm getting a good amount of evolved orbs. Evolved? Upgraded? Eh, you know. Anyway, th this should be fun. I feel stronger now. I mean, my deck's pretty decent at this point. I can start going through stones. Maybe I want to hit bombs more than I want to hit a crit. So you know what? If this can just bounce into the center, that would be amazing. And look at that. Honestly, the perfect shot. I hit the crit and I freed up bombing potential. Okay, so the crit's pissed off, but 
I'm no longer caring about points. I'm only caring about bombs. So let's let's get it. Somehow I did not consider that to be possible at all. Hopefully that doesn't bite me in the ass. No, it's fine. The bombs will just deal damage to the green dudes now. I don't know why I said dudes plural. So ball lightning gets to zap some additional stuff. Again, I only care about bombs right now. But I do hit a crit, so well done. That's it. That'd be a bowler shot if I managed to set off one more bomb. All right, here we go. Real fight begins. Now I care about crits. Damn, baller shot right from the get-go. I mean, that's what level two match your orb should go do for you. Again, just send you to the center, ish. This one's less good though, because the one refresh. I mean, maybe I should have sent it more to the right, but the le or left, but the right was where the crit was. Okay, refresh and then crit next turn with the dag orb. So I mean, this shot, all I cared about was the crit. Or not the crit, sorry, the refresh. Now all I care about is the crit. Bad news is the crit is in a bad spot. So, you know what? I have no faith. No faith. I did hit something better, so there is hope. You know what? I'm going to just aim this one down the center. Because, yeah, one of them can go snipe the crit. The rest, I uh, got to refresh. All right, I'm going to be taking a little bit of damage this fight. That's honestly not too bad. Take a match reorb, could just bounce it towards the center. Nice. Alright, get an upgrade. I've again got to go match your orbs. Here's why. I've... I found that... Oh, this is not too bad. I, I'm kind of curious about Pocket Watch. Puppet. Prevent the first damage you would take each battle. That's cute. It's new. I'm not facing any more elites this floor. The time I would care about this is against that elite that does like 22 to you. Honestly, I'm still going to try Puppet. I am curious enough. I gotta go to the right, this way I actually get a bonus chest. I, I was gonna say, I found that, well, I, I tried this game mode a couple times, and I found that taking an early elite fight was awfully dangerous, because your just early damage was kneecapped. But now, I mean, my deck is strong enough for early elites, and now, funny enough, I just don't get any early elites, so. Crazy how that happens. Anyways, think I can hit these bombs in the middle? Nope, okay, that's fine. Three back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back chests are just wonderful. Bombs clear nearby pegs when detonated. All right, detonate one then. Let's go! And a bonus item. I can discard an additional orb. That one's very nice, actually. And now, do I have a preference? You know what? Let's go to the left. So, I don't know if I get that once per floor or once per game, but yeah, blowing up all five bombs, pretty good. Get an additional thing. Post battle healing is increased by 1% for each orb in my deck to 9% additional bonus or 9 HP. That's, that's pretty good. And this, there's a waterfall mm, to check behind the waterfall or not. I think I could handle anything that's behind the waterfall. Let's see. There's nothing. Ah, oh, and a strange monster. All right, let's fight. Oh, yeah, these guys are pretty tough, but I think I'm ready. We got two matchy orbs, and honestly, some not bad other stuff. How about I aim right for this bomb? And just see how- Oh, sometimes I hit the crit. Let's go! Honestly, that's- that was what I was dreaming for. I'm like, you know, maybe if I get lucky, I could just randomly stumble into that crit. Alright, pretty good first turn. And let's go matchy orbs, obviously hitting the refresh here, and then wherever it goes, it goes. Where it stops, nobody knows. Ugh, missing the refresh and all of the bombs. Am I getting this crit? There's a world in which I don't. You know, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna skip it, do extra orb and area just over here. Because I'm bound to get 30 damage. And then maybe if I'm lucky, it'll fall into a refresh, which it does. If I was luckier, I'd hit a bomb, but I'm just ha mostly happy I got a kill. And yeah, because I can skip stones, like on a pond, I think I'll do that. Pretty good. Neither of these stones are appealing to me. And now Matryorchka, just down the middle. 
It's teasing me so hard with that bomb, but again, two down. Looking pretty good. I'm going for the refresh over the crit. Because it sets up a better next turn. Oh, there's... It's not likely I'm getting any value out of that match with Arbshika, but let's see. Hey, at least I hit that bomb. It's been taunting me forever. Okay, if I aim to the right, there's a good chance I get the crit. And the damage I need is a multiple of seven. Right, just somewhere over here. Yes! So, I'm almost tempted to take a refresh orb. Because of the lack of the board refresh, it'd be nice that you'd be able to just guarantee a refresh. And what's also crazy is about one fewer refresh is that there exists a battle that has one fewer refresh than normal. Therefore, I will have no refreshes unless if I add refreshes to the board or refresh or have that refresh orb. Ooh, previously thrown bombs can now be refreshed. So you know what? Let's go recombomb you later. Just because of the extraordinary. And we all know that Machu Obshka usually is going to hit the crit regardless. But I mean, I, I guess I can't technically rely on that. I think, I think I'll still be fine though. And honestly, it's good for this fight. This is a weird one, actually. I'm willing to just take this shot because again, I would like more enemies to show up on screen before I bomb them. So I've, I have no care about what happens. In fact, avoiding the refresh is really the only thing I care about. But now, now I want to hit some bombs. So to do that, I'll just go over to the right. There's three bombs just sitting there. Yeah, that's all I care about. Points otherwise do not matter. Eh, matter a little bit for that, but I still have bombs. Honestly, let's just rush towards the other match, Ryorbshka. And just soften up the left side. It didn't really happen, actually. I think I'm just gonna soften up the area around the bombs. Not expecting to hit any, but preparing to. Next shot. Honestly, I think I'll match Orbshka just right into the right into the bomb. Try to hit a second. There we go. That's all you need. That's not all you need. I forgot about the damage difference. Hopefully this doesn't bite me in the ass. Um, oh, how do I play this? This is actually a really hard board to play. I forgot that <laughs> bombs deal less damage. Whoops. This is gonna be awkward. There we go. Well, that's upgrade. I mean, I can discard this to refresh. That's a huge upgrade. I would have actually liked to have done this during the battle. But now that I can, it's nice. I think it's even more important to me than another Matru Arbshka tier 3. And I'll get that in due time. This is more like a consistency play. Because sometimes you get this in the middle of the pack and it's really useful. But sometimes you don't. I'm just going to instantly skip you. I'm going to actually... I'm t I don't know if I want to save my bomb or not. Uh, you know what? Let's hit the bomb. Even if I'm softening up, it's it's something. Softened up a lot of bombs, actually. At least I killed. There's no way I'm hitting that crit. So, skip and skip. I'm just gonna go on a bombing spree right now. That was a pretty damn good shot, if I say so myself. I do need to get a relic that makes bombs do a little bit more, though. See so you know what? Can target any enemy on screen. Let me hit this ranged guy, so I don't take any more damage. That's enough, right? Yep, that's all I cared about. I was kind of scared because his HP was blocked and I was going to be absolutely peeved if it turned out that I was just not dealing enough, but no, we're good. And I'll eventually get this guy. I'm just hitting bombs because they're the easiest way for me to do it, but now I can just hit whatever I think. Maybe not. No, I'm one bomb away from winning. This is all fine. Just hit it and get out. Bye. This has been a good run so far. Infernorb is sick. Oh, man. I, I loved Infernorb last time. Now, chances are when I fire it, it's probably going to just be negated by Puppet. And then Puppet won't save me a ton of damage. So I'll, I'll selectively use this. I mean, sometimes just blocking the two damage is fine, because then I would take no damage that fight. But then sometimes I may want to save Puppet for if I was to take 30 damage. So there's a lot to consider. Anyways, I feel pretty darn good about my deck. 
You know what? I think I'm actually gonna go right to Inferno Orb. Because I think this thing's just gonna th hit me for three. And if I block the damage for two, it's like almost the same. And well, I was hoping it would fall into the bombs, but uh, the balloons are a little bit hard for me to predict. Well, no, I'm. Well, it is what it is. It is what it is. Now I'm gonna go to the extraordinary. And let's get started. So bounce this and yeah, have it just fall down through here. Ton of damage. Yeah, that's really good. Right, I'm gonna throw this one in the middle, try to hit that crit. Nice. And this is why I do not feel bad about this boss fight at all. I thought I would like to hit that refresh, and then try to send it into the middle ish. That's actually a better shot than it looks. Because I'm setting up some good bombage in the future. Here, I don't even know what I want. Oh, that only... I think it only cascades if I hit a peg and not a balloon. Okay, I have to shoot this just to get the bombs. Maybe send... Oh, wow, I was really hoping to go more into the middle. Uh, my That was a bad traje trajectory. I don't think it'll matter. I think I have enough damage that I won't care. Honestly, let me just find something better than a stone. It exists, so I'll take it. Of course, I miss out on the crit. We'll see if that matters. I got it. Eh, this, this is better than what a stone could do. Eh, let's just finish this off. Awesome. Heal to full. No worries. This deck's feeling pretty good. But you know what? I'm gonna just get two tier three match orbs and now probably a <laughs> electro pregnant. Kinetic meteorite's not too bad though either. Because explosive force until the board is refreshed. The board does not get refreshed that often. And that's for every shot. Honestly, I'm curious to see how kinetic meteorite plays out on a board like this. It feels like it just got a lot better. And technically the magnet probably got a bit worse because it has less things to strong magnetize to. Sure, it has a weak magnet to everything, but uh, the strong magnet is part of what makes the magnet really good. And honestly, that's got me thinking. I think it'd be kind of cool if there was a magnet orb that just had the magnet effect, but maybe started as a weak magnet for tier one and then kind of leveled up, become a stronger and stronger magnet. I think that'd be kind of fun. Anyways, I have no damn regrets for Kinetic Meteorite. Hot damn. Of course, hopefully I can hit that refresh. Oh yeah, oh yeah. There are no damn regrets. This this build is insane. You know what, it's time, finally. How about I upgrade Extra Orbinary? Just cause I want to. Holy crap, three back-to-back -back elites. All right, let me see how I do against the leads and go to the left. And just refresh until I get something. Uh, I gotta hit the crit. Honestly, maybe I should've just kept it in the center though. So skip and refresh, skip. And now I've got to avoid the crit. Think it'll happen? I don't know. A crit's in a hittable spot. <gasps> it didn't happen, let's go. At least I get to wipe out the shield. Right, let's see what happens. Yeah, perfect. Now we're moving. All I need is a nice healthy overwhammer and I'm set, but uh, it seems like it's gonna win on the spot. <laughs> or not. <laughs> you know, I didn't, I should have put more thought into that clearly, but I was just kind of expecting it to work out. All right, let's try this again. Still, how about I upgrade an orb? Oh, effects that a buff both of its damage and its crit damage just get combined into its damage. That's a cool tier three. I don't have any. So I think I'll just wait on that until I get some, but that's cool. And then ball lightning tier three, zap more stuff for bounce. Eventually I'll have to just start healing though. Here, oh, I can do navigation to the other side. I'll just continue. Let's see how I fare against an elite, or not. Uh-oh. Kinetic Meteorite, though. Okay, guess not. It will forever be a mystery. Is this the kind of build? Do I want the special relic? 
where I get lifesteal? Maybe. Yeah, I always love this relic. This is probably my favorite relic in the game. Steal one life for every five pegs hit. 63 is not an unhealthy life total. Sure, I'm now a small peglin, but this small peglin can pack a punch. I got haglin. What do you desire? Upgrade an orb or remove an orb? Um, I don't think I actually care that much about removing an orb right now, because I can double skip. So, upgrading sounds great, actually. And that's gonna go right into Infern Orb. Was it worth 7 HP? Yeah, because I'm gonna heal it back. I now no longer care about little dinky HP loss. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna hit the crit and just expect to hit the bomb. Hot damn do I love Kinetic Meteorite. Let me tell you though, spending 504 on a H 15 HP shield really just gets me going. Let's bomb them. Does that lights out? Oh god. Uh, <laughs> I didn't realize it could get worse. Uh, I mean, it's not a big deal. It's just funny when it happens. Do I just gun for the refresh here? I think I do. Yeah, gun for the refresh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, it's gonna be a waste of a match, Ruorpshka. Eh, you know what? It wasn't that bad, actually. But it had to be done. Uh, not that bad. It just wins the game on the spot. Show me another Inferno Orb. Love this thing. Well, I don't know if I want to subject myself to three back-to-back -back elite fights. But I am considering it. Oh, this is gonna be wild. And wild it was. Oh, I've not seen this little dude before. What do you do, little man? Is there anyone to hit this refresh and not hit the crit? It looks like it lines up so well, so I'm just gonna switch to my dag orb. Perfect. Good decision making. Oh! Teleports in front of me. Okay, but you're you're like dead now, so I don't really care. That HP steal, I mean, it's so useful for so many reasons. One of them just being that you can get rid of a dumb little 10 HP enemy, and it's so nice. Anyway, let's take a shot. Let it ride. Got Inferno, but plus explosive meteorite just makes my night. Or kinetic meteorite. This thing is insane. So maybe give me a tier three. Yeah, tier three Inferno Orb. And now here's the question: Do I dare? You know what? Let's see what lies in the question mark. Strange mirror, huh? Well, frankly, I should duplicate all orbs. It just makes my deck thicker, and actually has the direct synergy with Rallying Hearts. I mean, hot damn. I really want to do three elite fights. I hope y'all know this. I am dying to do three elite fights. I think it can happen. I honestly think it can. Let's give it a shot. Uh-oh. Yes. No. No. Yes. Yeah. Here we go. Immune to damage while reloading? This relic is useless. But you know what? The bombs are back. So let's send it. Let's go! <laughs> not the way I expected to do it. Uh, Aimer's longer displays an additional bows. Oh, wow. I have not had you in a while. I don't know how much I'm going to use this now because with Kinetic Meteorite, you generally get a lot of the pegs. Let's see. Oh, I don't know if I like this one anymore. I think I'm willing to skip it for Dagorb. Oh, it's constantly moving. I'm just gonna let it rip. I was kind of hoping it wouldn't hit the refresh, but that's fine. At least it hit it again on its way out. It was polite. Yeah, kinetic meteorite's weird on a, or not kinetic meteorite. Um, weird aimer thing is weird on a moving board. It. Ooh. Ooh, way to <laughs> skim those bombs. It doesn't even matter, though. Like, I'm hitting the refreshes early, whatever. And it's still insane for me. I think that, that time it was intentional. 
I'm gonna just throw you in here. There we go. Hit the crit? Guess not. And show me another. This time I'm just taking the refresh. Ooh, sick refresh snipe at the end. That run out was insane. So it's funny, I haven't even been doing that much with Kinetic Meteorite this run. I wanna go Inferno Orb. But my build is just that good that it don't matter. And it's a shame I've already used the puppet. I like how it's grayed out to show that it's been used. At least I think it's been grayed out, unless it was always that color. I think it's been grayed out though, that's a nice detail. And this should do it. I mean, whatever. Just get him. Sweet, sweet overkill. Okay, I've got a huge deck now. Orbalisk would be kind of insane. More bombs? Heal two every time the board is refreshed. Meh, more bombs, way more bombs. Bo more bombs is good. Especially since bombs refresh. I mean, I'm gonna be all relics up after this. Third floor is gonna be a cakewalk, at least I hope. To be honest, I don't even know what I want. Just send it. Whatever happens, happens. Like, we're at that phase that the build kinda plays itself. Just kind of, because honestly, I mean, this fight's not gonna be super easy. I wonder, actually, if I want to leech life from this. And shoot over here, there's a refresh there. Uh, uh, yeah, that's fine. Because I'm gonna kill that front guy. Oh, I'm gonna kill all of them, huh? Nice. Alright, the hard part of the fight, 1200 HP. I think I'm used to seeing you with 600 HP. Just throw it somewhere over here. Damn good start to things. This thing splits, so... Also looking good. Okay, I can I target any enemy on screen? I really kind of want to wipe out that dude in the back. Because I'm, I'm on a match your Orbshkis now, aren't I? Huh. She don't know what to do here. Yeah, I'll target you. Ah, I don't know how badly I want to hit that refresh. No, I want to hit it badly. I don't know what I'm thinking. I absolutely want to hit that refresh. And I'm willing to deal with these back dudes. Because, I mean, I would like them dead. Yeah, setting up a better shot next turn. Because if I can eliminate the back dudes, I mean, first off, then they'd stop hitting me from a distance. And then second of all, I would at most have one HP hurt me. What? One enemy hurt me. God. All right, send it. Ew. Well, it's fine. I killed a back guy. Okay, again, target the back guy. Just leech HP from him and send it this way. Oh, no. Okay. Because I'm going to naturally kill that front guy regardless. Do I think I'm... Uh, I mean, the crit is so clean here. <laughs> I might just go for a bomb and a refresh. Uh, I hate shooting up moving targets, but you know what? I hit both and that's all that matters. Okay, time to finish this once and for all, hopefully. I mean, there's a world in which I hit that refresh or that crit. There's also a world in which I don't. Good run out, that's what I'm talking about. And I got most of my HP back so I can feel good just about upgrading stuff like Inferno Orbs. Every shot is a crit when fired below 30% HP or heal two every time the board is refreshed. Honestly, Knife, knife Savage doesn't get me going because I would rather just be at a high HP than get better when I'm at a lower HP. I would just rather be full, so uh, healing two when board is refreshed, pretty good for healing. We'll see if that comes back to bite me, but oh, against this enemy? No, I should be perfectly fine. Let's right, start off the crit. Let's off to the races. That is a bombastic board. Okay, well, I gotta hit the refresh. Twice, good. 
Yeah, this build is cracked. I love it. 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 And you know what? Let's just do this to bring it home. Love this build. The Kinetic Meteorite's MVP. I guess I'm just kind of too scared of Extra Orbinary because I'm expecting nothing to happen. Do I want a Bold Orb? Bold Orb plus Kinetic Meteorite sounds pretty good. How about I try it? Crits also refresh the board. Isn't that like bad for me? <laughs> Disables Kinetic Meteorite. Whenever I take damage, deal two times that to all enemies. You know, I think I'm gonna take it. I know it cripples Kinetic Meteorite, but it's not that bad actually. Because having another refresh, uh, the consistency you get out of it is unparalleled. And frankly, if I'm refreshing the board more often, that's worth losing out on a little bit of explosive force because I could still pop off on it in a situation like this. I just aim to the left and things will be cool. You know, how about I throw it for the hell of it? Just, yeah, I just wanted to see what Kinetic Meteorite looks like with a Bold Orb, and it's pretty good. And yeah, getting that refresh pretty near to the end, that's, that's nice. Alright, so am I blocking 30? Let's go! That's what I'm talking about. Puppet coming in clutch, and actually, that's a big deal considering my HP numbers. Well, let's send it. This is going damn well. Um, well, let's see. I want it to go all the way to the left. Nope. But it works out anyway. Nice. I think that's a pretty good angle, actually. Oh, did everything I wanted to do except for refresh, so can't be mad. Honestly, that's not a terrible refresh to set up. I think I'll just take it. Let's try this one. Eh, I was trying to bounce it off up. It bounced off to the up, but it didn't matter. Uh, this is a shot for the dag orb. This looks good. Oh, I forgot that refreshes the board. Actually, if I remember that refreshes the board, I would have aimed way differently. Whoops. <laughs> Funny, I forgot that already. Ow. Is Refresh Orb good with all these bombs? It must be, right? Let's see. Well, no, because it missed all of them. Okay, that was a total waste. I mean, it was going to be two turns until Match Re Orbshka no matter what, so why not let it sit? And another boss fight down at full HP, mind you. Looking good. I mean, we gotta go Infern Orbs. I know that's the best thing I have. Glorious Suffering, meh. Wand of Skultimate Power. I think if there's any time I can get away with this, it's right now. So I'm curious. I wanna see time two times damage. Seal Conviction is also pretty nuts with my build, but I also really like having the double skip. So I think, I think I, this is the one time I can handle this. Two times damage, it's five nine? Oh, well, it just shows. It's probably gonna be you know, a 10, 18. I don't even know how I want to start this. Just send it. Okay, the damage numbers are huge. And I heal out of any self-damage, so looking good. Nice! <laughs> Moving on. Alright, tier 3 Inferno Orb. Looking good. Not an easy fight. Honestly, I don't think I'm gonna crit. I'm willing to extraordinary this time. Shit. <laughs> oh, well. What are you gonna do? Still insane damage. Actually, did I get two per or four per? I actually didn't quite notice. I'm telling you what, it does not matter in the slightest. Boom. This time I think I'll avoid the crit. No, let's not chance it. Let's just send off the Inferno Orb. Or maybe it just match your Urbshka. Yeah. Looking good. Hey, I got Orbalisk. Wait a second. So you're telling me this is a 1632? 
don't mind if I do. And I just want to clarify, Inferno Ring Ingot does not heal you post-fight. Because there's no enemy to steal life from. You gotta steal life from the enemy for it to matter. Or for it to heal you. Oh man, actually that was surprising. I really expected to do more, but that's okay. Take a refresh and try it again. Yeah, I was expecting something more in that vicinity. At least they still have a really good lineup of orbs. Honestly though, not as good as you'd expect. <clears throat> but I think I still will be fine. Yeah, thankfully, I've got bombs. They're done for. I've got to be careful though. I mean, this ball lightning isn't really going to do too much. I also want a gun for the refresh. Maybe I do. Nice. And I'm basically at full HP. So this does become a 918 because I have a bold orb. Yeah, give me the damn 2040. <laughs> uh, it's not overkill. It's going to be fine. Forgot how this map works. I can just choose any direction without concern of the future. Here, I'm not removing all orbs. I spent a long time making this deck good. So I will just remove an orb. I'm going to be honest, that's probably the extra orbinary. I know. I know. Really wanted to build around it. Why not the stones? It's because it's, I have the freaking orbalisk. I'm not going to ruin it for that. I think that this guy just has to go. Sorry, buddy. I give you a chance. It even seemed decent for this game mode. And honestly, it's probably still not that bad. It just was not playing out well. Why am I doing this? Oh, thank God Wand of Skultimate Power does not trigger. Thankfully, Kinetic Meteorite, I mean, does. I don't know if that's thankfully. I mean, it didn't matter at all here, but there are such situations in which it would matter. Okay, I've got to be careful here. I could die. I'm going to directly target this asshole. Okay. Sure, I'm going to get wormed. But now it's time to go healing. Yeah, time to heal the full. Or not. That blue. 40 HP. Yuck. Just hit, just hit the bomb. Maybe, yeah, maybe hitting refreshes is important. I've, I gotta be very careful here. I could straight up lose. Um, damn it. I don't know what to do. Play this one normally? Hit some refresh? I don't, I don't know, man. I might have made a scary cat play, but I think it's gonna pay off. Yeah, all right. We are healing now. Wow, I did not think I'd be pressing that button. Again, why do I keep doing this to myself? Oh god, I could die this fight too. This is a time where Bold Orb is not so bad. Oh, I have to target this Weather Vane, huh? Interesting. Here we go. Woo, that was a hell of a kinetic meteorite. Banger fight, though. Or banger shot. Well, whatever happens, happens. Nice. Yeah, I had <laughs> just a few pegs hit and Oh no, that's fine. I'll wipe it out. Pretty much guaranteed. Right now, I'm trying to use arrow keys to aim. It's not fine tuning. I've received a lot of comments about how this is fine tuning, but look how much it varies by. I feel like anyone who commented saying arrow keys are fine tuning haven't actually tried arrow keys to find out how completely unfine they are. But that's just me. Oh no, I'm gonna waste. No, I'm not gonna waste damage. Looking good. Like sometimes it goes by a lot, sometimes it goes by a little. What I'm looking for in this game is like actual fine tuning. Consistent, not analog, but just very digital fine tuning. I also saw a comment saying scroll mouse works, but actually, hold up. Wait, scroll mouse is working now. Oh my god. I saw, okay, I, I also saw a comment saying that scroll mouse works, 
and I immediately went and tried it and it didn't work, but you know what? It does work. Wait, is it working? I can't tell if it's working. All right, I'm pretty sure mouse scroll works. That is some fine ass tuning if I say so myself. It's so fine to match you having to squint to see if it's working, but you know what? I think, I think they fixed it. All right. Oh no. <laughs> Skip. All right, I win now. All right, that'll be like really nice some other time that isn't now. Because this is, I'm no longer in the realm of fine tuning shots. It's now the realm of trying not to kill myself with red bombs because no matter how I shoot, match your option is gonna be insane. That was painful, I'm gonna heal again. Okay, I think I'm just gonna take the chest. Yeah, because there's no elite fights and I don't want elite fights. Dude, I'm gonna die to red bombs if I'm not careful. And I'll take the left, left path? I'm not sure actually. Oh, plus 10 damage to plants, plus 10 damage to plants, you say. How nice. How very nice. Okay, this is a time though I would mouse scroll. Yeah, like that. Nice. And more max HP is actually baller. That's a, that's a big deal. I'm just gonna take question marks. It's usually faster, but it does give me a better chance of getting in an elite fight and or red bombs. Oh God. How many are there here? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 times 4 is 56. I am currently incapable of dying in one shot to red bombs, but multiple is where it gets scary because they're reloading with so many annoying peglin dudes. Is there any, any way I could like just schedule to get a couple red bombs? Like that? I think a third would be perfect, but honestly, that's not a big deal. Nice. Okay, this just needs to hit a bomb. Do I get bonus damage? Nah, two bombs, I guess, is nice. But you know what? Still taking it slow is fine. Okay. Yeah, I, th I think I just need to shoot cautiously here. Let's heal. Oh, scroll wheel, wheel helped me out there. I managed to avoid not only the bombs, but the pegs entirely. Uh, I kind of expected it to just end up going in my favor, but that's fine. It's not a big deal. Um, I think I'm going to be skipping over Matriorpska a lot now here. I'll go Bold Orb. Got to be careful, though. That's a lot of red bombs. Please don't hit another. Please stop. Please stop. Please stop. Please stop. Good God. I'm going to die. I can't go Matriorpska. It's too damn risky. It's actually too damn risky. I suppose I could go Infernor, but honestly, I might just go Stone here. And just hit a few bombs. Well, no, nah, Infernor would have been good here. Yeah, I messed up. Okay. Um, please don't lose. Scroll. Yes, yes. That's fine, that's fine. You're dead. And you will die. It'll be fine. Yes, I'm good. Oh, that was a terrifying fight to navigate. Give me another heal. If you're still here. That works. This is fine. No red bombs. I can do anything. Here we go. Damn, my damage is insane. I think I'll be alright. Oh no! Eh, it's fine. Again, you have to target the weather vane. Like, legally have to. Hey, is Extra Ordinary gonna be good now? Maybe. <laughs> nope. <laughs> uh, it's not that big a deal again. But I do, I, I, it's just so funny how it beeline for the crit. Usually people have the opposite problem. <laughs> It's so funny that that's actually a problem for me. All right. Behold, the 1020 Orbalisk. Because it definitely isn't overkill and not a waste of upgrading. Not in the slightest. Sorry, the 2040 Orbalisk. My mistake. Dude, this run is so much fun. I'm going to ignore the waterfall this time. Not because I'm not uh, afraid of a fight. I am a little afraid of a fight. It could have red bombs. Ooh, what's this? I mostly want to just speed through it. I could heal post-battle, 
Deal damage when reloading? That doesn't happen. When I heal lost health, deal three times recovered health as damage? I kind of want that one. I don't know if I'll get there, though. This is a weird balance. Is this true? Oh, what the? What the hell? <laughs> Wait, that's new. I've never seen any of the orbs do that. That's actually really cool. Why is this the only place that it happened? That looks hilarious. It also might be infuriating, but in a hilarious way. Yeah, why, why is there not a... F Maybe there is a fight that does that. Offer the stone level one or offer the stone level one? The illusion of choice. This is painful to me because it hurts my 2040 orbalisk. Now it is a mere uh, 1932 orbalisk, which is completely washed up. Terrible. I should remo remove it from my deck because of how ass it is. I can't believe it would do that. But uh, this, this should be fun. I'm not scared of the red bombs here because there's not nearly enough of them to bother me. Even with refreshes. I, I can heal past it just fine. Mm, I don't know, just fine. My healing is still kind of slow. Let's go in Fern Orb. Send it. Whoo! Infernorb, I love you. Already got one of them. It's Morbin time. Oh, yeah. Just like in the movies. Uh, skipped. <laughs> Mostly because, again, I'm just trying to rush to get to the good orbs. Damn. Bombs blowing up other bombs, man. It's something else. All right, if I try extra hard, I can avoid the... Oops. Did I do that? Oh, did I skip the uh, the no crit orb? Well, it would have been good now. <laughs> uh, it wouldn't have been good enough to kill, but it technically would have dealt more damage. Holy crap. Jeez, even Orbalus can't do those numbers. Well, there we go. I am happy that this did not take a billion more tries. I did try a couple times, and it just got nowhere, but I'm happy to get a win now. Hey, Crucible level 6 unlocked. This is a new uh, Crucible difficulty. So, Crucible level 6, I'll get to see a new difficulty modifier. We'll all get to see it. It'll be fun. And also, I guess with the new updates, maybe I'll stumble on more things. Hope you're all excited. Thank you for watching. Catch you all in the next video. Have a wonderful day and peace.